really unlimited gaming memories. Shall we play a game? Hot Wheels for 78. Hot Birds got it. So does... Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As always, I like to cut to the chase and get right to the content. And this one should be somewhat of a short video because we're going to go back to my pile of boxes, right? So we've been knocking some of these out and I want to take care of two items that are in one box. And let's see if I remember which one it is. I think it would be this one here. No labels because I took them off already. I think this is the right box. Just looks a little bit small considering there should be two things in this box. A couple weeks ago I made a video on the other family members of this item. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here it is. This is part of the Mattel Hot Wheels Atari game theme collection. In the previous video, I showed four of the six that I had, and here are the remaining two to make the set complete. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Now that's what I thought would have made the collection complete. Unfortunately, I was completely wrong. A fellow Atari Age member noted that there is one more vehicle that is not as easy to obtain, and if I do get the opportunity to get it, I'll probably have to pay quite a bit for it. That remaining Hot Wheel is the Asteroids Beach Bomb, which looks like this. I have to admit, it looks pretty cool with those removable surfboards in the back. But what makes this rare is that it was not sold at stores to the general public where the other six were. It was released as part of the 2013 San Diego Comic Con, and it came in this box with the 164 scale Asteroids arcade machine. Now, I did look online, and you can find this from a couple sellers, but the price ranges from $200 without the box and arcade machine, so just an open box of that actual asteroid vehicle. And if you want the full set, you're looking somewhere upwards around $500. So not quite sure if I want to spend anywhere between $200 to $500 for a Hot Wheels car, but we'll see. But until I get that one, I'm 86% complete, having 6 out of 7. Well, let's get back to these two that I just picked up and focus on that for now. First is the centipede one. That's a modified looking ice cream van. And you can see it's called Cool One. Pretty cool looking. <laughs> no pun intended. Always have to have that Atari. On top or somewhere, which is awesome. Also on the back door. So that is the centipede one. And my favorite, as I mentioned on the other video, was this one here. This is the Atari 2600 GMC Motorhome. You gotta love that wood paneling side here. Resembles the Atari 2600 gaming system. And it's on a 1976 GMC motorhome. That's right. This is a 1976 motorhome. Truly is. And on top, you have the Atari gaming system with the logo. There's the front. Awesome looking vehicle, I have to say. I'll have to share a story with you guys. I like this one here so much that I'm actually working on getting the full-size version of this from this particular seller. Now look at the paint job. It's almost a perfect match with this Hot Wheels version. And speaking of sellers, I should also give a quick shout out to the seller for these two items that I got off of eBay. His eBay profile name is Mike's Treasures, and I'll put a link in the description if you want to check out what he has for sale. He's got Pokemon cards, baseball cards, and of course, Hot Wheels and collectibles. Uh, pretty nice guy. He just, I didn't ask for anything special. He gave me a nice little note with the purchase. 
And he included this, which I was not expecting, but just a nice little token of the appreciation of the transaction. He had said in the note that he wrote me, uh, Garbage Pail Kids, remember these collectible cards back in the 80s? I think this one is in particular 1986, Grim Jim. <laughs> Let's see, I think there's another one. There, it feels like it could be another one. Yep, there's two of them in here. So we got Grim Jim. And dinosaur, get it? Check him out. Check out his uh, store and see if there's anything else there. I'm going to be looking online as well to see if I can get that elusive remaining one vehicle to complete the set. But hopefully I won't have to dish out anywhere between the $200 and $500 range. But we'll see. That pretty much wraps up this video. Until next time, keep your gaming passion from the past alive by living it today. Take care, everyone.